Good morning! Well, today, I'm trying to get the welder set up. I was dicking around with it last night and uh, couldn't get it to arc. So I don't think I was cleaning my metal enough. Anyways, let's get the keys. Open this bag drill up. This door's been sticking of late. Today. And while I'm working with the with the welder, Danny's gonna be doing some bracing for our tongue and groove and some electrical. So let's get it. Yeah, with this pandemic, eh? Yeah. Better hoard it. Hoard it. All right, so Danny's gonna get started on cutting all the uh, pieces for the ribs there, basically the backing. Piece of cake, eh? One done. There you go. in there plenty. You could sink it like a little I more. I think I sink it, yeah. That's better. Perfect. So you see the wood here will strap these, the, the metal flutes, and then our tongue and groove will nail to, uh, to that wood. And here we just marked where we can put the screws. You don't want to hit these holes, otherwise you won't grab anything. mark where I'm going to put each one of the screws so that I don't toss it in one of these holes. Let's go.
end a little bit. I'm just going to explain a little bit what happened yesterday. Um, we were working on doing the ribs and everything. And then my buddy called the house I just plumbed. It was it's his mom's house. And the basement was flooding. And it's okay, like it's all new construction, but you never want something flooding. My buddy showed up. He flicked the switch. And there's just so much water and so much pressure in that line that it blew one of the MJ bands off the pump inside the pit so it was just pissing everywhere so that's where I had to go yesterday at like 2 and there was trees down everywhere on the lane so I had to stop numerous times move trees but so that's why we kind of stopped doing what we were doing yesterday I stopped welding and we just shut her down that's why we only have this many ribs done. In case anybody's wondering, we use two by one spruce, and this is what everything will be attached to. The tongue and groove, and then on the you know attached to the tongue and groove will be all the uh, cabinetry and everything like that. Are you ready to spray, hun? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, so for safety equipment, use a mask, gloves, and glasses, safety glasses. Now we're gonna shake this can up. Wait on a moment. Wait on a moment? Yeah. Shake your can. These have been uh, sitting up, upstairs in the loft. Take this stuff out. You're not going to need it. <laughs> Here's your bag with other gloves and uh, a bunch of tips. And there's some lube in there as well. And a wrench. There's new safety glasses. These glasses are really good. They give you it. This is your gun. Alright, what I like to do is keep a couple of the tips in my pocket for quick use. Where's the lube? I didn't get any lube. Tighten down the uh, connections on the tank. They should come tight. So those are tight. Then you're gonna open up each one. Stop. Now you uh, blow it out till you get some. And this is a little uh, locker. You know, unlock it. Okay. We're good to go. Take your schnozzle. Push, twist, lock. Now we're ready to spray. Now when you spray, you be about. 12 inches back, just going back and forth. Alright, you want to film me just doing a little bit? Mm -hmm. See? We'll go 12 inches off. Okay. 